Want to see some concept art for a picture book getting done? Then you need to check this video out. Hello everyone, it's me, your old pal Max West. As you know, I draw comics. I also do children's picture books. And today I've got some pencils, some cardstock, I've got pen ready. I'm going to be drawing some concept art for the next Hilda and Ritchie book. We're planning to put that out next year in 2022. It's going to be funded on Kickstarter. Okay, this is the character I'm going to be drawing. The book is called Hilda and Richie's Wizard, and it's going to feature this wizard. This is going to be his design. I'm going to do a color concept piece to uh, promote the work, build up enthusiasm for it. All right, <clears throat> let's get the show on the road. In this video, I'm going to be penciling and then inking the character. I'll be coloring it in a future video. Now, keeping my reference material here, the sketch I made. I'm going to start here. Put down a light, light pencil with a 2H. Again, you probably can't see this that well. As I've talked about time and time again, it's uh, pencil doesn't reproduce very well. That's why I've always preferred ink. All right, we're going to give him this big schnozola, or in this case, this is his snout. got the basics down. I'm going to start uh, masking in the details. He's a stereotypical wizard. He wears a robe and has a pointy wizard's hat. Yes, it was my goal. He's a fox, albeit he's a gray fox. I wanted to uh, have some uh, difference between him and Hilda and Richie, not just with his fur color, but also his, uh, his design looking different. I've been frequently told, mainly with Sunnyville stories, that all my characters look the exact same as I draw the same face on each and every character, and this is because I'm much too stupid to draw competently. Of course, the people that say that are idiots. I don't like the expression here. I'm going to change it up. He looks a bit indifferent. What's happened in this picture is that the wizard, I'm going to show him casting a magic spell, so perhaps let's have him concentrating. Yeah, that'll do. Let's give him that pointy wizard's hat. Give him that uh, long sleeved robe there that wizards wear. Once this is all finished, I'm probably going to be um, offering this as a uh, Kickstarter reward when we launch the Hilda and Ritchie Kickstarter next year. Yeah, you see that there? I have to finish drawing in his hands now.
There we go. Probably in a when I finish this, I'm going to digitally add in some uh, lettering there. I'm going to use that again to promote the next book. All right. <clears throat> so we've got all that down. I'm going to pull out some of my uh, fine line markers. I'm going to be using these to draw with. Let's get this out of the way. All right. Gonna have gray fur. I'm gonna color the robe and hat purple, and the magic will be yellow. But that again, that'll be for another video. Go. See, this is already starting to come together. I mean, just look how that, how the black ink of the uh, marker here just pops out on the page. Spice this up a bit. I mean, after all. This is meant to get people's attention. This is meant to catch the eye of potential readers as well as people to back my Kickstarter. The plan with that we're going to launch next year in January. Pro the date I'm um, probably going to launch Hilda and Richie's Wizard on Kickstarter will be Wednesday morning on January 5th, 2022. That's starting to look like something. Get the rest of that in. Again, the um, the wizard is a key character in the next Hilda and Richie book. I'll be honest, Rick, Hilda is only going to get a little screen time. Most of the story is going to revolve around Richie, and that does make sense. He's the audience surrogate, since, this, since it is a children's book. Richie is the character that you know, children are meant to identify with. I think boys and girls will definitely love this, uh, this book. Both Hilda and Richie's Wizard, as well as the first story I did, Hilda and Richie. And there we go. This is the finished inked piece. We're going to let that dry for a while. 
And in the next video, we're going to be coloring that in. Again, let's zoom in there. Yeah, this will look a lot, it looks much better now, but it's going to look really good once I apply the markers. Well, that's it for this video. Hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos. If you want to check out more of Hilda and Richie, just check out the links below to the blog, as well as to where you can buy digital copies of their first picture book. If you represent a library, you can buy copies of Hilda and Ritchie through Broad Art Company. Until next time, everyone, this is me, your old pal Max West, saying goodbye.